name's Am are you filming? Yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> My name's Amanda Manimo, and today we're gonna be going to every coffee shop in Seattle. I am so excited. Um, we did this last weekend, and I absolutely had so much fun. My fiance's behind the camera, and we're just gonna be chugging as much black coffee as we can, um, and hopefully not having a heart attack. So, let's get started. So why Seattle? Well, I moved here after I left Japan. That's where I moved. I moved, to, I moved to Seattle. But no, that might not be your question. Why does Seattle care about coffee? Seattle is regarded as the world center for coffee roasting and the coffee supply chain management, according to Google. It wasn't until the 19th century that Seattle began doing coffee. However, it was the 70s and 80s that really made it popular with a brand known as Starbucks. Back to the video. Bada bing, bada boom. Top Pot Donuts was our first stop, but it was 9 a.m. and hunger was calling. So donuts and coffee seemed like a beautiful start to our morning. Our first stop today is at Top Pot. They've got donuts, they've got black coffee, Oh my god. They got it straight to the freaking. Is there a lid? Yes. Oh, that's good. That is so good. No acid, not bitter, not very strong, but like a good solid eight. Like, there's no notes of anything that I can taste. <laughs> I'm kind of wild this morning. All right, do you want to try? He does not like coffee. I had the cinnamon um, donut hole with it, so that's pretty good. All right, they have these donut holes. How do you like that? Oh my god. You know what this? Yeah. It's so perfect. Mm -hmm. It's so good. On to the next one. What are you doing? I got the, the Nutella mocha, which I never get. Oh my god. I never get just kind of mocha, so I'm kind of excited. I asked her which one made a design. She said they all had designs. <laughs> All right, let's try this. This is the first one that I asked for a design. But young lovers just call me to let me be there on Wednesday. How is something so sweet? So bitter. The second sip is a lot better. It's very bitter. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It really isn't. Try it, try it, try it. Oh my God, don't spill it. Whoop. I feel the way that this thing looks right now. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a seven. What do you give it? Six. Won't, won't, won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I think I gave them such a high rating because of the design. Uh, the design was the first design I had seen at all the ones we had gone to and that was super, super cute. Are we ready? Yeah. Um, but honestly, and I'm not even kidding, Tyler, I wish I would have just gotten a drip coffee. And they didn't have their drip coffee because their beans are all out because today is like their restock day. So she made us an Americano, which I'm fine with. I'm happy. It, it smells really hot. That's actually really nice. That's probably one of the better Americanos I've ever had. Whereas they're usually really dark and bitter and gross, but this is very smooth and very soft. I don't think I've ever had an Americano that was soft and not um, putting up a fight on the way down. So I really, I like this one. Oh my God, that's not where the hole is at all. How do you like your tea? Pretty good. What flavor? Uh, just black tea. Oh, that's nice too. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. It's not for me. No? 
I thought it was more one of the more smooth ones. I mean, it is, yeah, it's smooth, but it's just too strong. Smooth, but too strong. I liked this one. I'm going to give this like an 8.5 maybe, or a s almost a 9. Yeah, like an 8.5. I really like this. It gives good vibes. The plants are beautiful. I like the, I might be into the more concrete looking places recently, whereas I used to like like the bright airy, but I kind of like the wood industrial leather. And I like that they have a couch. This is really nice. I feel like last time I was at this point, I was feeling like I was gonna have a heart attack already. And I can already feel them vibrating like in myself. Like I feel like I'm like charging up. I'm over here like, I'm burning up. So um, this time I feel like I'm at this, like not peace, in between peace and like excitement. I haven't crossed into the anxiety side that coffee can sometimes cause me, which I'm happy. Um, I'm just happy right now. That's it, I'm just happy. I'm having a good time. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad I'm doing this. I really like the coffee so far and I just, the weather's beautiful. The buildings are beautiful. I love, I love the architecture of Seattle. I love the tall buildings. I love the brick. I love the fact that there are little coffee shops tucked into these odd buildings and little, you know, theaters tucked in there and little weird shops. I really enjoy that in a big city. So I think that's part of my favorite part about doing this, like these types of videos, is being, you know, feet on the ground, walking and just snooping and looking and... Oh, look at that one. That one, coffee and tea. What is it? Artie. What is it? Oh, it's a... It's a bot. Yeah, let's go to the robot one. This was the first time I had ever seen a robot make food before. So, of course we had to stop in. Tyler got lucky and got to try a tester drink. It was a taro hot chocolate, which is something neither of us would have ever have gotten. This is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. I've been skeptical of trying our new uh, hot chocolate. That's actually really good. It's my yeah. favorite now. I love the foam. The foam is beautiful. They're still making my, they're making my cappuccino. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I just like watched a robot make this. That was so cool, it was so cute. Though the robot named Amanda did not make mine, me, Amanda. So, that's okay. But this is a cappuccino. I usually don't like cappuccinos. They didn't have drip coffee. They did have an espresso, but I really wanted to watch, I really wanted to watch them make the art on it. So that's, I've kind of been in an art mood. Like that's kind of who she is today, so. It's not very sweet, but it is, I love this foam. This foam is fabulous. It's okay. I love, the whole experience was like an eight, but this actual coffee is like a five. Um, not them, I just don't like cappuccinos. So like, why would I go and buy a cappuccino if I didn't like cappuccinos? So, but he. I got a tester. Taro hot chocolate? Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, Taro hot chocolate. I did not think it was going to be good. I thought it was going to be disgusting, and I tried it, and I was wildly surprised how good it was. It's my favorite drink now on this adventure. <laughs> More than your teas? Yes. Yeah. All right. So uh, that place is good. I'm the problem when I order things I don't like. Who knew? Who knew? But I love the foam. It's really sweet. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> That's not very, that's not my favorite at all. That's so that's not his favorite at all? No. Well, jumping from that to this, or this right. to that was... Because uh, his is very sweet. It's very nice. It's very, it's, I dare to say perfect, but I did actually really like yours. 
Hot chocolate for me from now on. I like the I like the design. To the next one. I got an eight ounce of their Nicaraguan bean. I'm really excited to try finally just back to the plain, back to the drip coffee again. I've got like this weird kind of film in my mouth from the cappuccino foam and I'm just excited to get back to my roots. Black coffee. <laughs> you sound so dramatic. Okay. Oh, it smells really nice. It's a little sour, um, not bitter, sour. And it's really nice, but I feel like I would need to have some type of little pastry along with it. They had some cheddar cheese bagels and they looked fantastic. Didn't end up getting them though, but they really did look delicious. And I think that would have been lovely with this is like a cheddar cheese bagel or like, like a coffee cake. So like a coffee cake, a bagel. But the aesthetic of this place is definitely like study. Come here, study. I could be here for hours. That's kind of the feel of this one. And that's the first place that has really truly felt like I could be here studying for hours. I think it's, it's something to do with how big this place is and how open and light and pretty that it makes it feel not cramped and like they want you to leave to make space. This feels like they're like, stay for as long as you want. If you're hungry, grab a bagel, grab a little pastry, grab another drink. I think an eight, but on like the lower scale of eight, like 7.98, like that kind of feel. I'd come here again. Oh yeah, that's drip coffee. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> there we go. That's how he feels about it. <laughs> do you miss your taro hot chocolate? I do. I drank it so fast. He said I do. I drank it so fast. <laughs> oh, you would we ate that? It was so spicy. Yeah. We're just taking a little break from the coffee and walking around because if you have too much coffee, you're gonna explode. These are so good. That's not even. What? We're at an H Mart right now. <laughs> Those are really good. He pointed at like an American um, snack and was like, "These are so good." <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. I used to drink these all the time in Japan. I love. I love the Picari sweats. I don't want one right now, but I do love them. And I was very surprised to see them here, actually. It smells absolutely delicious here. Like warm bread, very like meaty, cheesy, sweet. It's and then we're right in front of the Starbucks, the old, the first Starbucks ever. That was it. <laughs> the only reason we have, ooh, this Mexican place. Look at this Mexican place. That line's for Starbucks, I think. Ooh. The only reason we're not yet going to the Starbucks is I don't think they have anything different than like the normal Starbucks's, which is why I'm a little more not inclined. I want to try other places besides Starbucks. Giving out testers. What do you want? It's Mary and Mary's Ooh. Can I try some? No! I dropped it on you. I'm getting the ice cream off of you. It's right there. We finally found it. We've been trying to go to this exact one, probably about for two, two or three coffee shops worth, and then we just kept getting sidetracked by other coffee shops that we weren't planning on going to. So, back on schedule. But we're also getting a little hungry, so we have to start thinking about what kind of food we got around you. 
I got their eight ounce strip coffee from Anchorhead. I keep wanting to say Hammerhead. And it's their Narwhal blend, which is like a, a mixture between, it said like dark chocolate and kind of like a, the white chocolate. So I'm excited. And then this right here, I think he'll like. Mm, hottest one by far. Oh my God, that's hot. That's so hot. Like a five. It's not very good. Oh, let me try the other one. All right, be careful. It is, oh, I, you're, I can feel it. right, you're not gonna like it. I already know you're not going no. to. What don't you like about it? It's just dark coffee. I don't like, I like, it needs to be sweet. Right. I don't like it, it, This one was very acidic. Very it's very strong. Yeah, it's very acidic. It's very like, um, very black coffee. Some of them are just like barely black coffee. This is like the most of the, the heaviest one we've had so far. Okay. Do you want to try this one first? Okay, try, try, try. I'm kind of excited. That's better. It tastes, it tastes pretty good. That tastes pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, huge. No, that's so is that your drink? It's like, yeah, it's like a little bit of The whole trusty it has a super weird aftertaste. It's like cinnamon. It's cinnamon. It does taste like the the milk and the cereal, but it kind of has like, I think they might have used almond milk or coconut because it has a kind of a gross um, aftertaste. You wouldn't come here for this. No. It's good though. It's good though. Um, whereas I would give this one like a five, I would give that one like a seven. It's definitely better than this. It tastes like a Christmas time drink, like a winter drink. Mm -hmm. It's, it's also a cold brew. It's not like a chai or something. I, in my head, it was like a chai. And then when I read it was a cold brew, I just was like, well, the review online said to try it, so I'm going to try it. So that's kind of why I got it. Mm -hmm. But it's better than that. Ooh, that looks yummy. There are probably about three more coffee places I want to try to get to today, if possible. But we need to eat something, we need to snack on something because we're on our last straw right now. <laughs> We are walking to our next place and there was this van and they were giving us free coffee. <laughs> it was meant to be. It was literally how appropriate if you're trying all the coffee places that there's a place that was giving you free coffee. The only thing is, is it was for their creamer. So um, I got the sweet cream creamer. I like it. I think it's really good. I got the hazelnut. It's pretty good. How crazy is it that these two coffees are better than some of the coffees that coffees? Coffees that we've been drinking. It's not black coffee. It's good. You got, you got freaking creamer in. <laughs> Stop! Why are you a commenter right I'm now? <laughs> it's delightful. <laughs> buy this. Buy this creamer. I honestly like it. That was the first one that I actually wanted to finish it. And I was like, stop, you will have a heart attack if you finish that and continue to drink coffee. So. She just wants the creamer. I just want creamer. <laughs> Everyone, then why are you drinking black coffee? <laughs> you don't make any sense. <laughs> I just got their drip coffee. It's their prologue blend. He said it's very strong. So I'm really excited. He gave me a lot of information, but I immediately forgot it. Okay. That is amazing. This is a nine. This is, it's like chocolatey. It, it's very smooth, which he did say that it was smooth. So I'm so glad. Wow. This is great. They gave me a free mug. So I have a free mug in my backpack. That's super cool. That's the first place to give me a, like a gift like that. But I really, really, really like this one. 
It's very smooth. It's it's enjoyable. It tastes like um, chocolate. Like I know I already said that, but it really does. It's really nice. It could be because we had just had the truck one and then now we're going to this one and the truck one had the creamer. So maybe I have like a little bit of sweetness still in my mouth. This is probably number two because they don't have like a donut. Whereas I already had a number one in the last video. This is my number one for today, for sure. I'm giving this a nine. 100% I'm giving this a nine. I really, really like it. It's not the worst. I love it's it. Pretty good. It's pretty good, huh? I love this one. I don't know what it is. It's just so smooth, so chocolatey. It's really, it's really what I wish all the other coffees tasted like. Cause it's weak, but it's not weak. It's just not bitter and it's not angry and it's not, it doesn't have a vendetta against me whereas I feel oh, like or your stomach right whereas I feel like all the other coffees really had some sort of like angry like I don't know grudge against us while we were drinking them and this is just so beautiful I come here Storyville I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it uh, on to Pegasus Coffee, the aesthetic of the aesthetic queens. They're all over Pinterest. They're all over Pinterest. I'm so excited. All right, we went to the Pegasus Coffee place and they were closed. Our bad on that one. But the outside was not the aesthetic one I was thinking of. The one that's usually on Pinterest is, is somewhere else in Washington, but it's not this Seattle location. So I'm honestly, I'm not that heartbroken other than we didn't get to try it. We're on our last one. It's the cherry, like something about a cherry. So I'm really excited. And then we're gonna go home. So to the cherry. Wow, this is really beautiful. All right, this is our final one. I'm, I'm excited. He said this was like a medium type roast bean from Colombia. Colombian. Colombian, which so far every single bean that we've tried today has been completely different, which in the first video that was like one of my fears is that they're all gonna be using the same. So I'm glad it's different. They have here, I love the aesthetic. They have this absolutely beautiful wall behind me. I just, I think it's so gorgeous. So I'm excited. I love the atmosphere so I'm excited to try the coffee how's your tea it is peach tea but it's pretty good uh oh how's that no it's it may be with a sweet treat nothing like the last one nothing it's this is like a five it's kind of sour it's very bitter and it's very acidic everything we don't like and that's the honest truth. The aesthetic though, 10, 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, no. Mm -mm. No? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh well, the aesthetic's super cute and I love the cherry. It's... I agree. And they have like a little bit of food here. They have little pastries. So I think with a pastry, you could probably bring this up a lot. But if you were just came here with the black coffee, I would be a little, especially after having the Storyville one, I'd be, I'd be unsatisfied. Yeah. That's the honest truth. Pass. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. That's my honest truth. How, but your tea is good? Yeah. Try, tea. try, try. It's tea. I'll drink it all this time. That's nice. And that's it for today. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many coffee places we went to. Honestly, it felt like 15. It could have been like eight. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I had a lot of fun today. My favorite by far is Storyville. So I just, I loved it. I will not stop talking about it. I'm obsessed. She's an obsessed girl. That's all I can say. Um, but that was my absolute favorite. I think we might do one more trip here and just to wrap them all up, the ones we've missed. But we really, from what I understand, have hit the majority of the coffee places in Seattle, but 
I'm probably incorrect. Like other than like a Starbucks or like somewhere weird, you know, that just happens to have coffee. Like the true sit down coffee places. All right, what do you think? Did you? My favorite thing was the hot chocolate. That was my favorite. Oh, the accidental hot chocolate that we found. Yep, it was, it was delicious and it was made by a robot and it was free. <laughs> you can't get any better than that. Free delicious robot. Yeah. Which one would you come again to? That robot one. Is that it? <laughs> Out of all friggin' 20 or so we went to, is that the only one? No, I liked the very first one we did, the last video. Okay. But we're off. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.